What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going through the amazing and epic WWE figures that are going to be coming in 2020. We got some epic elites in the house. We got some awesome ultimate editions coming soon, as well as some epic basics that we are going to cover here in this video. 2020 is going to be immaculate by just the looks of things. When you just look at it from afar, from what we already know is coming, the teasers and the, you know, the prototypes we've seen and all that good jazz, I think that 2020 is going to be excellent. 2019, I think, would be probably the most successful year of Mattel this far in their 10-year history with WWE and this WWE Elite line and the WWE figures from Mattel that we get that we love so much. I think 2019 was the best year just because of the, the head scans that we've been getting, the new parts that we've been getting, the double-jointed knees for the women. Just excellent stuff and the interchangeable hands, even the more cloth goods we're getting. I mean, it's just an epic time to be a WWE action figure collector and I think it's going to get even better for 2020. So we're going to dive into the epic figures we're going to be getting and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the first wave that we're probably going to get as far as Elites is concerned, guys, is going to be WWE Elite Series 75. Now, this is a very strong set. You know, we get Kalisto to complete our Lucha House Party. We get a brand new Jeff Hardy. I know we just got a brand new Jeff Hardy and another brand new Jeff Hardy, but I, I'm in the company where I don't give a damn how many Jeff Hardys they make. I'm going to be on that boat. So, and we don't even know what it looks like yet. It looks like it's probably going to be a flashback Jeff Hardy, which I am all for. I think that, I, you know, we've had enough current date ones. It's time for a flashback and hopefully that is the case. I'd be fine with the one we see here in the image and that would be okay with me. I think that's from WWE Magazine, I can't. I, I think. But uh, we're also getting Seth Rollins, Hurricane, and Pete Dunn and Mandy Rose. Now, all of these figures look great. The only one we don't know about is Jeff Hardy thus far, but the rest of the wave looks great. Kalisto in the blue color. He got Seth Rollins in his Chicago Bears attire where he won the Royal Rumble in 2019. Uh, coming up on the one-year anniversary of that. I can't even believe that, guys. It seems like the Royal Rumble just passed. We're already at the Royal Rumble again. I mean, my God in heaven, just time flying past me right now. We finally get an Elite Hurricane. We've never seen an Elite Hurricane. We've only seen a couple basics, I think, from Mattel for the Hurricane, so having him back will be epic. Pete Dunn to make up for the Elite 64. This one should be a lot easier to get for collectors, so that will be epic. And Mandy Rose looks good. I think the, you know, the double-jointed knees and everything for her look good, and I cannot wait to see that. But not only do we have Elite Series 75 coming this year. We also have Elite Series 76, 77, and uh, one or two figures already deemed for Elite Series 78. Now, as far as Elite Series 76 goes, we are going to be getting John Cena, Braun Strowman, Tucker Otis from Heavy Machinery, Lacey Evans, and Christian, and we already know what most of these figures look like. We already have seen the renders of Heavy Machinery. They look really, really strong. I think they're going to be two great figures in this set. However, I am worried about their articulation, but however, I, I think they're going to be okay. I think they're going to get by with it. They look great. They look just like them, so um, it, it, they are going to be strong figures. As far as Lacey Evans is concerned, it's a great looking figure. I'm not a fan of Lacey Evans, but the figure does look great. I think it looks just like Lacey Evans. That one will be a very strong figure. The Brood Christian looks great in the purple and the white. You get your little goblet that comes with him. I think he's going to be a pretty strong figure in the set as well. Can't wait to see what his head skin looks like. You could probably even switch it for, uh, you know, your Elite 20 Christian if you want to see what that looks like or something. I don't know. Maybe want to want to play around with those. But that is Elite Series 76. We don't know what Braun Strowman or John Cena are going to look like, but we do know that they are going to be great. I'm sure they're going to look great. Braun Strowman's figures always look great. I'm just sick of seeing them when they look identical. So hopefully they give us something new with Braun Strowman. And then John Cena, it's probably going to be a Super Showdown attire or possibly a flashback figure, which would be cool with me. It doesn't matter. Um, but the Elite Series 77, I think, is where the money's going to be made, guys. I think that a lot of people are very, very pumped up for Elite Series 77 because you all guys already know who is in that set. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is going to be in that set. And while we don't know exactly what the figure is going to look like, we do have a pretty good idea of it considering the render image that we have. And then I took that render image and colored it to give us a more accurate look of it without the tattoos, of course, but it is there. And the Fiend is going to be incredible. Everybody already knows. It's probably going to be figure of the year. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be marking that down. And it'll probably be figure of the year. You know, I'm just, you know, early speculation. Hopefully it lives up to the hype. Um, and we don't have like a part situation. You remember when AJ Styles was getting released in Elite 47, they kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say they ruined it because AJ Styles figures are still solid, but when they first released it and he had that small torso, it really bummed me out. So hopefully we don't get, you know, another release like that. You know, they've made Bray Wyatt in the past, so I'm hoping that, you know, 
uh, they bring it all here with this Fiend figure. And I think they will. I think it's going to be excellent. Not only do we have the Fiend in this series, guys, we do have another AJ Styles. I don't know if it's going to be the smiley head sculpt we got with Elite 74, if it'll be something new. But we also are getting Ronda Rousey, which we saw a render of. Very good looking figure. Hopefully it, you know, it has the pizzazz of her Ultimate Edition. I know it won't be double jointed. It won't have the same ab crunch, but hopefully it will still be a good figure and that it will live up to, you know, a, a solid standard. I'm not going to put it to the Ultimate standard because that's that's asking too much. That would be unfair of me to do that. But Ronda Rousey hopefully will be good. We also have Viscera. And I'll tell you this right now. I think the King Mabel figure was super underrated for Elite 68. That figure is actually really, really solid. I hadn't really picked it up and like posed it around but I picked it up the other day just you know going through my shelves and the room tour and stuff trying to get everything straight and I posed him around a little bit he's actually a pretty fun figure so if you guys have the King Mabel definitely post him around he's a very fun figure to pose around and hopefully this Viscera figure will be the same exact way not only do we get Viscera but we also get Ravishing Rick Rude which looks excellent you know I'm not a big you know I, di I didn't get to see Rick Rude obviously but I am a big Rick Rude supporter I've gone back watched his work uh dude was a baller dude was a beast and this figure looks great and it captures Rick Rude perfectly I think so really happy for the Rick Rude figure I think it's going to be excellent the only figure we haven't seen yet is Elizabeth but we have a good idea of what she's going to come with in her yellow dress or yellow shirt or whatever that was from that specific SummerSlam because this Elite Series 77 wave is the SummerSlam wave and all of these figures are going to be SummerSlam themed and we can kind of see that so hopefully I think AJ Styles will probably be in his SummerSlam 2018 or 2019 attire which will be the purple versus Samoa Joe or the red versus Rick Ricochet, but we don't know exactly sure. Uh, we're not exactly sure about that just yet. Not only do we have Elite Series 75, 76, and 77, guys, we do know about one figure in Elite 78, and that is going to be our truth Now, he is going to come with a 24-7 championship, and this is the only figure, I think, confirmed or known about for Elite Series 78, so that is kind of disappointing, but I mean, that's four series from now, so I think it's okay that we only know one right now. But I do like the way the title looks. I love this Elite our truth It's kind of weird. I had a dream like uh, a few months back. I want to say almost a year ago that we were getting a Lucha House Party Elites and we were getting an R-Truth with the 24-7 title and then it came to fruition. So I don't know. That's just weird, but I I'm just putting it out there. Uh, not only are we getting that, but we are getting the Royal Rumble Elites. Now in this Royal Rumble set, we're getting Macho Man, Lita, Bobby Lashley, and The Rock. And you guys already know that I already have the Macho Man figure. It's a very solid figure. And it looks like they have updated the Lita figure. It looks like we're getting a new head scan for Lita. And I like this head scan much better than the last one that we saw with Lita. I think they did a great job of updating that and fixing it. I love the dry brush on the pants, and I don't think this figure is going to have double jointed knees. I think because they're reusing the same pants mold that we saw with her first Elite, so I don't think we're going to be seeing double jointed knees for Lita. Um, so that is kind of disappointing in my personal opinion, but I still think it's a strong figure. It looks like her. I think it'll grow great in the Lita collection, so that'll be nice. Bobby Lashley looks great with the ECW title. Very, very similar to his Elite 69 figure, but it is a little bit different with the trunks and everything. The Rock we've seen a hundred times comes with the Spinner Championship, and it's uh, I hate that they use that smaller torso, but it's not a big deal, not a huge you know thing for that. It's not you know an epic epic failure for me, but just wanted to mention that that I wish it, they would have used the bigger torso for him. Uh, another little elite pack that we're going to be getting, guys, is the Samoa Joe Rey Mysterio Mysterio WrestleMania 35 Elite Two Pack that looks incredible. I'm super happy for this. I think Samoa Joe looks great. I know it's another red attire. Yes, that's crap. That'll be the third Samoa Joe Elite that we've gotten in red, but it's accurate. You know, it's pretty accurate because he wore the red trunks. I think they were less saturated. Like, they were kind of like a faded red on his shorts from that match, and this match wasn't very good, but this two-pack looks great. The Samoa Joe head scan looks great with the mohawk look. It looks just like Samoa Joe, and the Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, is fantastic. I think it looks so good. It's easily going to be up for figure of the year already, and I don't know when it's going to release. I would imagine it would release around the time of WrestleMania, but it could be before that. Who the hell knows? I don't think we really have an idea on that, but this Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, looks so good, and it's going to definitely be up there for figure of the year. With all the deco and all the details they got in that figure, it's going to be really fun. I can't wait to see that thing. We also have Ultimate Edition Series 4, which is going to feature HBK and Brock Lesnar. Now, these figures are prototypes that we saw. We saw the render image. We saw the prototypes, and these are very early prototypes. 
prototypes of the figures because these head scans do not look very good. I mean, look at that Brock Lesnar, Jesus Christ. But uh, it is hilarious, but at the same time, they said they are going to be fixing them, and these are just early prototypes. So hopefully they do fix those, and I think the True Effects should fix those. They should look a lot better once we, uh, you know, once they are actually released. But we are going to be getting Ultimate Edition Series 4, Brock Lesnar, and HBK. I'm actually really excited for both of these, even though they're not the greatest. I am hyped for the HBK specifically, but I think both of them are going to be pretty solid. On top of these, we do have the Network Spotlight Series. We have Ricochet, Kurt Angle, and Matt Hardy. We also have a Wendy Richter in, Richter in this set, I do believe. I think that's who is in this set. And uh, I think these look pretty good. The Ricochet, I don't know what they're doing with the, with the knees and, like, the yellow turning to black and like they don't give him knee pads i'm not sure if they're going to change that or fix that but he also comes with a rubber shirt the united states championship and i'm not big on what they did right there with the legs i do not know what the hell that was but uh yeah they they kind of messed that up a little bit i'm not i'm not big on that I don't know what that is, but uh, it looks good. I like the yellow attire and everything. It's just that is just not good looking for those uh, legs right there. How it just changes to black. Um, again, don't know exactly what that is, but the other figures in the set are Kurt Angle from his match with Trash Corbin in WrestleMania, which looks pretty solid. It's it's a solid looking figure. I, I'll I'll definitely play around with that. You know, see if we can get some fix ups going for it, and then the. Matt Hardy figure in this Network Spotlight Series 2 is going to be awesome as well. It comes with a dilapidated boat. You get the dry brush pants. It is the same WrestleMania head scan, but I think it's going to be great. I, I'm really hyped for this Matt Hardy figure. I think it looks really, really good. Another figure we're getting is China, and we are also getting Sting. So don't forget about China and Sting that we also saw at Comic-Con, I think. So both of those will look really, really good. I'm really excited to get our first China ever, and I think the Sting figure will also look pretty solid. So I'm, hy I'm hyped for both of those. And we are getting a ringside exclusive Sasha Banks. Now I'm not very high on this figure, not uh, you know too too psyched for it, but uh, it is a figure that we are getting. We are getting the uh, Sasha Banks ringside exclusive, and it's going to come with the jacket and everything. But uh, it does look like it has a very nice face scan. It looks like it's going to be the best head scan that we've seen from Sasha, so that's something to uh, talk about. And then finally, guys, we have the Ultimate uh, Ultimate Edition Series Five. Now this is going to be the series after Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels. We are getting Ric Flair, as you can see by the Four Horsemen hand sign and then we have the two belts for Becky two belts from her match at WrestleMania 35 and uh, I think that is what it's going to be we're going to get a four horseman Ric Flair nice you know robe ultimate edition with probably a wooing head and stuff like that and then we're going to be getting a WrestleMania 35 Becky Lynch with her two championships and a bunch of other good stuff so hopefully uh, both of these figures look really good I'm really hyped for both of these as well and I think the ultimate edition line that it's something they they like to do they said that this is what they want to do every series they want to take a a current great and then a uh you know a flashback great so ultimate edition series six and seven i think we're supposed to get four series per year is that what they said is it supposed to be three series per year i can't remember i think they're supposed to get four or or something in the next year or something i can't remember exactly what they said when they released the ultimate editions but i'm hyped to see what these look like when they're finished and then of course we have series six and seven which I, I really, I, you would think they were going to give us a John Cena at one point. They're going to give us a Roman Reigns probably at one point. So I'm definitely uh, on the lookout for that. You know, we've gotten Finn Balor. We've gotten Shinsuke. We've gotten Ronda Rousey. Becky Lynch. Brock Lesnar. I mean, there, there's there got to be another top guy somewhere. Probably Roman Reigns, like I said, but... Uh, that remains to be seen. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what we get out of everything. But I think that's all of the figures I wanted to talk about. We also have some basic series popping up on the screen for you guys so you guys can take a look at those. I think there's some notable basics on there, such as like Alistair Black or something. Alistair Black, Ricochet. Uh, I think we're getting the Street Profits this year. We're getting uh, some other people, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Just wanted to cover through some of the great WWE figures we're going to be getting in 2020. I'm hyped. It's a great year, and you know they always get some figures that we don't know about. Like uh, Last year, we got, what, Elite Series 65 through 74, so we're at least going to get nine series in, not even counting the NXT waves and the Network Spotlight waves and the ringside exclusives and all these crazy things that come in out of the blue. So with, This year is going to be packed full of great figures, and I can't wait to review them, put them up on the channel, show you guys them and get everything going but thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe action figure videos here's to an excellent 2020 if you guys missed the collection video or any of the epic videos from the last few days definitely go check those out but i will see you guys in the next video thank you